Canada geese, a life story. When born in the spring, geese can walk, swim, and forage for food. Over the summer, they eat, swim, and grow. Grow strong muscles and wings in time for the trip south before the snow arrives. An epic journey of 1,500 miles across the continent. My bet is these geese have a similar condo in Austin, Texas to match their home here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I'm making you nervous, eh? Okay, wait a minute. Now I know what's going on here. The love is in the air, and they just want me to get out of here. Aha! Yeah! I want to know what love is. I know you can't show me. Let's talk about love. <laughs> Nests are usually located on a hillside near waterways. Eggs are laid in a shallow depression lined with plant materials and down. However, these urban geese choose the luxury and protection from predators of a brand new riverside condo building. A rooftop concrete nest lined with down and rigid foam insulation with an R7.5 rating. Resistant to water and far superior to the sticks and mud afforded the ground dwelling nests. What you looking at? What you looking at? <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Oh, nature at its finest. Geese are eager to come back here in the spring because they want to reclaim their favorite nesting spot. They're willing to fight other geese to get their preferred spot. So it's likely that these geese have been nesting here long before this condo was built and are simply coming back to the same spot along the Assiniboine River. Sometimes I just like watching the birds and trying to figure out what they're doing. So um, to me, this looks like the male is, um, you know, just kind of being protective. Um, he's, you know, staring at the sky, looking for predators, just being, uh, you know, just being a good f uh, father to me. And um, the mother is soon-to-be mother is um, kind of she's she's kind of beside him on, on, at the nest and uh, he's just looking majestic and <laughs> just beautiful against the sky like that
I did my best to make this first video and I would like to invite you to contribute your experience and knowledge of Canada geese in the comments. I will take your feedback into consideration and add it to parts 2, 3 and 4 that will be released in the coming weeks. Thanks for checking out today's video. Please follow along as I become a better filmmaker. Will this insulation be enough for the eggs to survive a late spring blizzard? Find out in part two. Here's a quick preview of part two. Okay, there's the yellow feathers now. There, there we go. I see an eye. <laughs>